Okay, today we're going to look at the VP Racing Oil Filter, number VP10063. And you can get this on Amazon for $14.99. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a good silicone, a nice pipe. Get your inner here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the box. 100% synthetic micro glass media. 99% filtration efficiency, high performance silicone anti drain back valve, heavy duty rubber base gasket, manufactured and distributed by Champion Laboratories. And let's open her up and see what she looks like. Date code 121520AF, product of USA. This is a sticker. Red, white, and blue. Nice colors. And here's the O-ring gasket, rubber O-ring gasket. It comes off eh, fairly easy. Well, it's a thick one though. I'll leave it off for now. I see eight inlet holes. Bypass valve down below. And it looks like a metal core with louvers. Yes, this looks like a Champ Lab base plate, judging by these holes here and the way it's made. Curious to see the filter media, micro glass filter media. Yeah, I say we open this baby up and uh, see what's inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Let's see how much she weighs. 286 grams. And the base plate weighs 115 grams. And we've seen the O-ring. It's a nice thick one. Base plate. Yeah, it's just like a champ base plate. It's got the 13 in here. 13 holes. 8 inlet holes. Got a nice amount of threads also. Yeah, these base plates are pretty nice. They do make nice base plates. And the anti-drain back valve, which is silicone. Nice big one. And it goes right over these holes nicely. Alright, that's all nice. Now, a little disappointed with this filter media. I don't know, it looks like all their other Champion oil filters to me. Except it has some green on it. <laughs> but I counted 59 pleats. This is an inside seam. Metal end caps. And a little sloppy with the glue. So they say this is a 100% synthetic micro glass media, but they don't have a filtration number. So, I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of excess glue here though. For like a $14, $15 filter. Well, let's see what... Okay, the... Well, let's look at this too. Bypass valve. Stamp leaf spring bypass valve. Pretty large. You can see how much it weighs 10 grams. 9 grams now. 10 grams. <laughs> Let's see what the filter media weighs. 86 grams. And the can weighs 67 grams. Let's get some measurements. We'll measure this can. I was getting about 0.4 to 0.5. Yeah, point, point 0.51, that, that's about average, because it, 0.4 to point 0.5 is about average. Yeah, the can feels fine. Yeah, let's pick up a spot where there's no glue. Get the width here. 
wide one. 2.90 inches wide. 2.55 this way. And end to end. 3.44. Yeah, this filter media to me, you know, I'll see when it's cut it open and stretch it out, but it looks it's very familiar. It looks, you know, pretty much like the other champ. I don't I don't know, just you know, look at this stuff, it just peels off. Yeah, you can just peel this right off. But you know, it's better outside here than inside here, anyways. You can see the louvers. And all those louvers. I'm gonna check those out after too. Yeah, so let's cut this baby open, stretch it out, and see how long she is. Okay, here she is stretched out, and she's 48 half inches long. Here she is zoomed out. Okay, so here's the seam, and it's a inside seam. See right here, inside glued seam. I took a little sample here, so you can measure it. I was getting 0.8 millimeters. Yeah, 0.82 millimeters. That seems to be about average. close up okay let's look at the rest of the filter okay you got your silicone and your drain back valve that's nice metal end caps those are nice louvers base plates nice and you got your stamp leaf spring with the bypass valve And a nicely painted can with a sticker. <laughs> now, is this a $15 filter? I I don't think so. I don't even know what the filtration numbers are. They don't tell us. I mean, this looks a lot like a Super Tech. You get the cage, plastic cage. You got pretty much, and you buy the MP uh, Super Techs. You have a silicone and drain back valve. So you're pretty much looking at a Super Tech oil filter right here. That's my opinion. Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget about Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.